Can you tell this is a 180 in health, voice, enthusiasm? Those with a skilled ear might be able to tell. Welcome to Friday's Geogasser. This is me standing in a mud field. So for those who didn't see Wednesday's video, I was in probably, if I had to say that sunup was beginning of sickness to sundown, sick to sober, I was probably at about maybe 1.30 in the afternoon on the sickness, but now it has completely cleared. I am no longer sick. It definitely was food poisoning. What the hell is this? we will go this way. And now, to celebrate that, the game has decided to challenge me with uh, Farm Field Guesser. Which, uh, oh, here we go, we got a road. I learned a little, there's a sign here, it's probably going to tell me, Ruski. Privyet Umrad. I cannot trill R, so I can only go weird, like, tongue noise to pretend I can. This sign doesn't tell me anything. Maybe we're, like, in Pripyat, and just across the uh, horizon is uh, Chernobyl. But, no, this is... Uh... Alright, time for me to say the words, but never actually remember how to say them. Chaird... Chairdniskia? Chairdniskia? That's... Deka... Korskav... Ovo. Korskavo... Skav... Korskakovskia... Rainon? Rayon? I don't know. It sounds like I'm saying Rayon, and I'm getting French mixed in there, but... This is Kraskoyarsk. This is not Kraskoyarsk, but... I'm gonna click here, because I got nothing. And we're just gonna go from there. Maybe we'll see a street sign. I doubt it. Hmm. We're gonna see nothing this way. But... Sickness is over. Congratulations. To me. Thanks, immune system. I really didn't do anything. I mean, I, I, I had some p medication. I had some pills. And, uh, this was like, alright, body, you do the rest. I'm gonna, like, do things so we don't die. And then the rest of my cells were by, like, cool. We have an agreement, my body and me. I don't kill it. It doesn't kill me. At least until, uh, I make an agreement with the, uh, cancer cells. Although, I usually just don't listen to them, because they're like rebels, and they don't want to listen to you anyway. Are these all sheep? Is that a dog? No, that's a ram of some sort. That's a guy. Hello, person. Can I tell anything about where we are? No. Are you winking at me? I think the cow's winking. He knows what's up. This is, uh... There's no houses here. Where did that guy come from? Is he just like... This whole posse is just those cows and sheep. I mean, he's got a pretty good life set out for him, if you really think about it. You can eat the grass here. Have the cow. A lot of stuff you can you can get. Clothing from the sheep. Food from the sheep. Milk from the cow and the sheep. Unless those are bulls, and Maybe you don't want the milk from those cows. This isn't City Slickers, after all. Or was that City Slickers too? I don't know. Billy Crystal did it in one of them. Maybe it was a Legend of Curly's Gold. Oh, I was so close. No stars. Goodbye, 20,000 points. All because... You know why at this point. I don't need to keep saying it. I'm just kind of saying it for myself. Rural Crime Watch. What does that entail? It's like, uh... You have guys in, like, lifeguard towers sitting there. There was a flag here. Like binoculars and a flashlight, and then by the time somebody drives by, I squints at him like, Yeah, I see you. You keep moving. That could be Texas. But the wind is not blowing. And the problem is, 
that this also could be Canada. This might be Canada. But I've never seen a rural crime watch. That's really hard to do. Growing up in rural, as I like to call it, maybe, yeah, about this rural. What do we got? Junction with Alberta 56. Thank you, Canada. Now, Russia, just take a little hint from Canada. I mean, yeah, Canada's probably about maybe a quarter your size. Maybe more like a third. I know that the, the way the map's set out, things more up north look way bigger, like Greenland isn't this big. It's just the way the map was split out. But Canada's, yeah, that's pretty big. It could hold its own in a fight. You know, it probably needs some help from Alaska. Hmm. But it could hold its own. Canada's pretty big, and they have signs everywhere. Can't be that cheap, expensive just to put up a sign, yo, here you are. But there's 56. All right, zoom in more. 63s. Rural watch. Like, is it just one guy's duty to uh, drive around this area in a pickup truck or whatever vehicle they're using? I don't want to stereotype. And just uh, check on the neighbors. You okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, that was in the British Columbia. And he moves on. Dallas 56. All right, we're at, almost at the junction of a 56. I'm going to click there. And see if I get a, uh, another root junction. Here we go. This will 569 secondary. All right, now we gotta look for 569 secondaries. What road is this? 324. How big is 56? Number one. Let's look at that. Um, I think it's pretty big. 834. Okay. So we're gonna start up here. And look for 569. Nope. But would you just drive around in a car being like, everything okay here? Yep. All right. Moving on. 589. That's almost that. Well, we're hitting north and south. We're hitting it. Um, Coming from this side, I believe. 569. 569. Here we are. I'm going to click like right here. I'm going to hit back. See if I can't, if this says, if this is Way Lake. Because I think I've nailed this. Let's see if that says Range Road 193. Maybe I'm just always stuck on baby mode for GeoGuessr, but Ridge Road 193. I think I got 5,000. Do we get it? 5,000. The only problem is, combined with the first round, we got 5,000 and 500 points. You keep doing that rural watch if it tells me where I'm going every time. But next up on juxtaposition, Eastern Europe. Not saying that this is, well, actually, this could be more uh, Balkan. Am I saying it right? Is it Balkan or is it Baltic? I think it's Balkan. Balkan Balkan's up here. Bal yep, I always get Balkan and Baltic confused, I think. Cannot make out the writing on any of this stuff. There is a four-leaf clover there, but that means nothing. This could be very trash everywhere. I mean, they got their priorities. There's that whole... One of the first things I learned about in basic psychology when I was in high school is the... Uh, I forget what the guy's name was, but it was like the the Pyramid of Needs. I, it may have been called that, might have been called something else, but you can't really take... Um, well, we're in Obama. This is of China. Of China. Ruin. Ruin. Coroan. Uh, I think that's a river name, maybe. Where are we? But there was a whole pyramid, pyramid of needs they talk about, where, like, you think about base needs. Okay, what do you need to survive? You need to cover those things before you can tackle the next step. 
what she could be. Um, after basic needs, you could probably think maybe communication or something like that. Dialogue, free thought, because can't sit there and be a philosopher if, like, if everybody, your entire, like, species is just too busy trying not to be killed by lions every day. You can't just sit there and take time to be like, what is the meaning of life? Like, shut the fuck up and go farm some food. We're gonna die. G-R... It's G-R-O-I-C-H-A. Gorodino. Right here. I'm fucking... I'm so dumb. Goritska. Goritsa. Why... I, I feel like, no, I can, I can say this. Just, alright. So, I don't know if this is Russia. It's probably Russia. If it's not Russia, it's... It's over here. And if it ends up being Russian, not being Russian, then you get mad that I thought you were Russia. Uh, forgive me. I am not the most world savvy person, but if you think about the other needs. You know, maybe there's trash on here, but you know, maybe they got other things to worry about before they start greening up the roads, or maybe the government has other things to worry about before they uh, take care of trash on the road. You know. Just because it's, you know, poor doesn't mean, or like trashy looking doesn't mean, you know, there's nothing worth seeing there. They maybe just have to worry about other things before they can do beautification. Or maybe it's just not a priority for them. Okay, it still says stop. I gotta click somewhere. So, I'm gonna click here. And hopefully that covers this. Although, it's Cyrillic. This feels more Mediterranean. It's Ruen. It feels German. All of this feels Turkish, almost. Almost Macedonian. Ah, oh, this is a this one's this one's a bit tough. I need some signage and information. These have political things or whatnot, maybe to elect this person. Uh, I'm gonna go back to another 500 score. This trash can might actually help me if I can see it. No, and I didn't. Bulgaria. Well, excuse me, Bulgaria. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. But somehow, this was closer than being within the same country. So, sorry, Bulgaria. I should have known better. And it, I'm noticing a trend with every one of these. It's just dirt road in the middle of nowhere. So I, I'm noted. I know I've recognized your theme today, yo guesser. No rebase. I don't think I've ever heard rebase used in this. Um, what's the word? Punte San Teresa. So this is Mexico, Argentina, or Chile. I did find out an interesting thing about the. Uh, where is it? Re. Uh, 2010. Now this could be actually Brazil too. But this little hook part, I learned about this recently, this little hook part of Argentina why it's the way it is. Because apparently, back in 19th century, 1800s, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing, um, Paraguay got a little uh, lippy with all of its neighbors. Being just like, yo, we this is all ours. We want this. We want this. We want all of this here. But then Brazil, Argentina, and there was one other country. I think it was Bol Bolivia. Or like Paraguay, we're tired of your shit. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, put you in your place. And then Paraguay's all right. You're on. And it was a. I'm not trying to be like, uh, um, what's the word? What's the word? Um. When you're trying to be like overly dramatic for no particular reason whatsoever, what is wrong with this road? Maybe just over dramatic is what what I should call it. But it turned out that Paraguay lost about sixty percent of its like adult male population, which was crazy. And it turned out the 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 ratio of men to women was. In some places, two women to one man, and in others, it was four to one. They lost a lot of men in that war, and I thought that was kind of crazy. And in the end of it, Argentina got that. Paraguay lost claims to what they own now, because later on they fought Bolivia and said, we want this anyway, and they took it. But I thought that was interesting. And I still don't know where this is. 
this one's hard. Because I'm just seeing free co like, is this Brazil? Or is this Mexico? Because I'm going to keep going this way, but it's, it's not going to show me anything. I really don't think so. Oh, I really like having my gras swell to two when I go out to eat. Wait, maybe that ranch had a... Nothing. In a minute, and I gotta make a guess, but whatever I'm gonna guess, it's gonna be awful. This is arid desert, and whenever I choose arid desert, and they have these white painted bridges like this, it makes me feel like it's Mexico, but every time I've chosen Mexico, it's been Argentina, but this feels more desert-like to be Argentina, so maybe this is Mexico, but I, I still can't confidently decide the difference between oh oh that is actually going to help me this is going to help me i got 27 seconds left this is mexico because i believe that's mexico route 45 yep it's mexico now i gotta find it in 15 seconds oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck uh 49 that's close enough Come on, come on, come on, come on. 45. I clicked it! I clicked it! You saw my- you heard my mouse click. I would have been like here. Oh, I'm mad. But whatever. Yep. All five of them have just been... Fucking... Side, just weird farmland pictures. But this one will probably end up being Brazil. Although this is blurred out. Why is this blurred out? You didn't blur it out for like the... Oh, it says motorsports. It's like Pike's Peak. Motocross said. Fazenda Chiargo Verde. Either the green or for sale. I forget which one. Maybe both? Uh, this guy's blurred out. Maybe his shirt said where we... Oh, that will. Tell me where we are, I think. MGC. Now, I do remember all routes here had this name of the province before the number. But I don't know if this anything here is MGC. And I don't think I have enough here, but MGC 245. Need a country. If I can get something to help me figure this out, that's a Honda Civic. Uh, Scania, they're driving up. Dot br. Here we go. All right, so we've got the we got the country. I just got to go back to that road sign and just look at it again. See if I can't suss any information out from it. This is probably one of the better chances I'm going to have to get a Brazil guess right. So I'm going to take it. All right, MGC. Look for provinces. Potential, that's an M and that's a G. Any other M's with G's? MG. Uh, so we'll start with this one. 265. Actually, they're kind of like right next to each other. So let's try 262. Um, let's narrow it down to here. 262. I'm going to click here just to have a guess down. 267, 262. I got a minute 22 to get this down. Can I see? All right, we've checked that one. What's, what's, where's that? Where is it? Where is it? We'll check, and we'll check this too. It's got a G in it. I'm, I'm broadening it out. No. No. Where's that MGC? Mon Minas Gervais. 265. We got it. It's a very long road. 
it's a very long road. So it's not near water. I'm going to click here. MGC 265. Did we see high, like, mileage markers anywhere? That would help me out a lot. 265. I want to see how long this actually goes for. Seems to end here and, like, there. I don't see any water anywhere. I'm hopeful I'm, I'm close. I'm going to, like, click here. Maybe I'll click. It's it's mountainous a bit. Maybe I'll click there. We'll see. Not bad. I mean, it's a massive stretch of road. I'm actually glad I found the stupid thing. Mm. Mm. And it was a terrible round. Jesus Christ. How It's just one... This shouldn't have been as much as it was. This is just atrocious. Nailed it. I clicked closer. I'm happy with that one. That could have been much better. But I do better when I'm sick, apparently. Even the one that got lost in the shuffle because of my terribleness. It happens. But whatever. But hey, it's another week down. Hopefully I won't get sick over the weekend so I can come back and do better next week. But uh, thank you all for watching, folks. If you could like, favorite, come subscribe. Watch our other stuff on the channel. We're still working our way through uh, Uncharted. It's going to be up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Unless Evo dies or never wants to do it again. We won't know. I don't know. You won't know till Tuesday. So leave you in suspense, I guess. But for all of us here, have a good weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday with some more guessing. Geography.